Good morning, everybody. Great to see you all here. My name is Charlie Knowles. I'm the president of Wildlife Conservation Network and one of the founders. And you are in store for a fabulous day of wildlife and hope. I know there's a lot of things going on in San Francisco today. We've got 170,000 people in for the Dreamforce Conference. We've got a million people coming in for Fleet Week. And I don't have anything against cloud computing. And I love our men and women of the military. But for my money, I want to hang with 1,000 people here to, for wildlife conservation. So I want to start off thanking our generous sponsors who un underwrote most of the costs for today's event. So it's the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, the Disney Conservation Fund, the Leiden Foundation, the Morgan Family Foundation, the Sacramento Zoo, the Houston Zoo, the San Diego Zoo Global, and Safari West. So let's give a big round of applause for our sponsors. And I also want to thank our tireless staff. WCN has a staff of 17 people. If you see people kind of walking around looking like zombies, that would be them. And 100 volunteers who have helped out today. So if you're a WCN uh, staff member, you should, should be working. But if you're in here, hold up your hand. And <laughs> Kelly, that'd be you too. Right, thank you. And the volunteers, thank you. thank you so much for that. And I have some housekeeping things to announce. I was supposed to tell you where the bathrooms are, but you're all adults. I think you can find them. Uh, turn off your cell phone. Um, the lunches today, um, our good friends at Mission Bay don't allow us to bring in any outside caterers, so they charge us 30, $32 for lunch, which we think is outrageous, so we underwrite it and charge you $15. It's all compostable, so don't worry that it looks like it's in plastic. It's all we can compost it. Um, there's a cowbell that'll be rung five minutes before the start of every presentation. And I think one of the most important thing is you'll see 60 other organizations outside, and they are just terrific organizations doing wildlife conservation and animal um, welfare work. And so please go out and visit them and support them. We invite them to come and exhibit for free because we're, we're creating a community here. We want people to get involved, we, and regardless of what organization they charge us, you choose to support, that is making the pie bigger and helping, helping animals and wildlife. So please, please visit them. And I'll tell you at the very end of today, but just so you know, and it's in your program, next year's expo will be October 14th, and our good friend Dr. Jane Goodall will be back. So be sure to put that on your calendar. But we are here to talk about a serious subject. Wildlife is in crisis. I feel like I'm preaching to the choir. You all know this, but um, we've lost half our wildlife during my lifetime. Uh, elephants, the number of elephants has dropped by a quarter in the last uh, 10 years. And there are more Ethiopian, uh, more people in this room than there are Ethiopian wolves in the wild. And there's a, so there's a crisis. But there is hope. There is hope. And the hope is the people that we have today, the wildlife conservationists who are living and working with endangered species, working with local communities to come up with solutions. And so this is really a day of hope. And I really ask you to get involved and do what you can. And there's a host of ways to get involved. Uh, we love money. Uh, no, no gift is too small. No gift is too big. I know we're not all in a position to donate, and we sincerely appreciate your paying admission, which, thanks to our great sponsors, will go to help wildlife conservation. So please give. Uh, we like to motivate people to give as much as possible, and so we have a few incentives there. For like, so donors that give over $1,000 a year based on monthly or total gift. We have some events through the year, and we had a great party last night with uh, Mr. John Kay, the founder of Steppenwolf, who rocked us to a little Born to be Wild, a magic carpet right? John, can you raise your hand there? So please, please give till it hurts. But there's a lot of other ways you can get involved. I know we've got engineers, and we've got teachers, and all kinds of people that can help. You can work as a volunteer on the coming in here. I met uh, just five minutes ago a woman named Sarah who came up to me and said, hey, Charlie, I came here four years ago, and now I'm volunteering for the shark. Or where are you, Sarah? Now I'm volunteering for the shark organization. So 
please volunteer and get involved in that way. Um, a gentleman named Steve Gold came up to me about 10 years ago at an expo and says, hey, I'm a contractor in Noe Valley. I love to do solar power systems. What can I do to help? And um, he's now got materials donated and is, has installed over 48 uh, solar power systems in eight different countries from Papua New Guinea through Kenya up to the Gobi De Desert. Where are you, Steve? Raise your hand. Steve Gold, thank you. And, and a group of college students back east contacted us and said, hey, listen, we want to make some T-shirts, and we want to uh, give the proceeds to wildlife conservation. And they started an organization called Ivory Ella, and total they've donated $690,000. And are our Ivory Ella people here? There we go. Thank you. So thank you for that. And because of what you do, there is hope. There is hope for wildlife, and we're deeply appreciative for everything that we do to help. So thank you for that. Um, I always like to do a little real-time surveying here. So for how many people is this your first um, WCN Expo? Where have you been? <laughs> um, OK. How did you find out? How many of you found out about us from a friend? OK. How many of you got a piece of paper in the mail? Glad to see there's so few of you. How many of you found social media? What am I missing? Work? Yeah. Through, how many through one of the associates? <laughs> Great. OK, well, we have to do something about that. Thank you all for being here. Um, now, how many of you have been to two or more expos? Wow, five or more expos? 10 or more expos? And I know the answer to this. How many to all 15? I think it's me, Jim Sanderson, and Linda. Oh, is there anyone else who's been all 15? Wow. That's fantastic. Thank you. Well, I want to take the opportunity to tell you briefly about WCN. Uh, we're here in San Francisco. Uh, we're over in Potrero Hill, actually about a quarter mile from here on the corner of Mississippi and Mariposa. There's a periwinkle blue building. We're on the upstairs. Stop by sometime. Have a, have a drink and tell us about yourself, so uh, we're close by. Uh, we were founded in 2002 by myself, Akiko Yamazaki, and John Lucas, and really founded on the idea of harnessing the power of the entrepreneurial spirit. Find incredible people who are working on the right problems, with the right strategies, engage with local communities, support the heck out of them, get out of their way. That was our basic premise. And then the other, second part of that is connect you, the generous supporters, directly to the conservation you care about. So not only have events like this where you're going to get a chance to hear from and meet these people, but any gift you make, 100% of it goes directly to the field. You can go to the field and visit these people. So rather than um, keeping you, the supporters and the people doing the work apart, we do exactly the opposite and try and bring you together. And it seems to have worked really, really well. Uh, we've grown to the point that uh, through your generous support, since our founding in 2002, we've been able to deploy over $70 million to conservation. And <laughs> and I did a quick survey of the people here at the Expo today, from you individually and the organizations you represent. Combined today is over $29 million of support for conservation. So. Give it up. So there's a lot of ways to get involved. We not only believe at WCN in effective conservation, we also believe in being efficient and being transparent. And there's an organization named Charity Navigator, which rates over 8,000 organizations on their transparency and their efficiency. And not only is WCN the number one rated organization in the whole wildlife conservation space, but we're the first organization to receive a perfect 100 score, of which we're very proud. So just talking a little bit about the future of WCN, our model is to have these incredible conservationists. We have 17 of these core partners, but there's 40 organizations in 40 countries that we support more broadly. Uh, in addition to that, we have a terrific scholarship program. We've sent 80 students from local local communities back for masters or PhDs and have gone, then returned to their communities to do wildlife conservation work. And 
we recognized that we need to do something more broadly than just individual programs, so we started these broader species conservation programs, the first of which was the, the Elephant Crisis Fund, which now has raised over $10 million, has supported over 100 different projects through 50 different organizations across Africa, North America, and Asia, and it's really been impactful. So we're gonna be uh, rolling out additional species funds. I can't really tell you about them, other than the fact that we'll be announcing it in January of next year, and the species we'll be supporting is represented here at the Expo and maybe the next speaker. But I'm not gonna say anything more than that. <laughs> um, but through the generous support of the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation and the Landmark Foundation, we'll be able to la launch this with our partners, um, and it will really change the face of conservation. So that is WCN. I am thrilled to have you all here. Those of you I haven't met yet, I look forward to getting to know and, and hope you have just an uh, absolutely incredible day. So thank you for being here.